In today's episode, we're talking about Immanuel Kant, an important figure from the world of philosophy. He was a German philosopher who lived in the 18th century and was a big deal during the Enlightenment, a period in history when folks really started to value reason and individualism. One of Kant's best-known works is The Critique of Pure Reason. In this book, he attempted to bridge the gap between two schools of thought, empiricism, which argues that experience is the source of knowledge, and rationalism, which believes knowledge can be gained independently of experience. Kant suggested that our understanding of the world is shaped by both our minds and our experiences. Kant is also famous in the field of ethics. He introduced something called the categorical imperative, a principle that encourages us to act in a way that we would want everyone else to act, regardless of our personal desires or situations. Kant's philosophy has had a broad impact, influencing various fields such as politics, psychology, and even physics. So, even though he may sound like an old dusty philosopher, his ideas are still very much alive and kicking today. In this video, we will explore 20 wisdom from Immanuel Kant. So, sit back and enjoy the ride. Welcome to BlackRock Inspired. Act in such a way that you treat humanity, whether in your own person or in the person of any other, never merely as a means to an end, but always at the same time as an end. Two things all me the most. The starry sky above me and the moral law within me. We are not rich by what we possess, but by what we can do without. Science is organized knowledge. Wisdom is organized life. He who is cruel to animals becomes hard also in his dealings with men. We can judge the heart of a man by his treatment of animals. Experience without theory is blind, but theory without experience is mere intellectual play. Dare to know, have the courage to use your own reason. All our knowledge begins with the senses, proceeds then to the understanding and ends with reason. There is nothing higher than reason. The busier we are, the more acutely we feel that we live, the more conscious we are of life. Patience is the strength of the weak. Impatience is the weakness of the strong. It is not necessary that whilst I live, I live happily. But it is necessary that so long as I live, I should live honorably. To be is to do. Every man is to be respected as an absolute end in himself, and it is a crime against the dignity that belongs to him as a human being to use him as a mere means for some external purpose. Happiness is not an ideal of reason, but of imagination. In law, a man is guilty when he violates the rights of others. In ethics, he is guilty if only he thinks of doing so. Morality is not properly the doctrine of how we may make ourselves happy, but how we may make ourselves worthy of happiness. In all judgments by which we describe anything as beautiful, we allow no one to be of another opinion. So act that your principle of action might safely be made a law for the whole world. The death of dogma is the birth of morality. Thoughts without content are empty. Intuitions without concepts are blind. 